If you're watching this video, you probably already know what adult bed bugs look like. They're small brown insects with flat oval shaped bodies, short antenna, thin legs, and a flared pronotum. But maybe what you found in your bed or belongings doesn't quite look like that, and you're worried that it might be a baby bed bug. In this video, we'll talk about what baby bed bugs look like and how to identify them. Baby bed bugs are called nymphs, which is the scientific term for immature forms of insects that shed and regrow their exoskeleton several times as they grow. This process is called molting. In the bed bug life cycle, nymphs molt a total of five times before reaching adulthood. The life stage between each molt is called an instar. A newly hatched baby bed bug is called a first instar nymph. For the most part, bed bug nymphs look like miniaturized versions of adult bed bugs. They have flat, oval shaped bodies with a small head, thin antenna, and a large, rounded abdomen. Behind the head is a wide dorsal plate called a pronotum that flares out on both sides. Right after it hatches, a first instar nymph measures around 1.5 millimeters in length, which is about the size of a sesame seed. The color of its body is yellowish white, and you can almost see through its translucent body. When it feeds, you can even see the blood get digested, and it becomes a dark mass near the back of its abdomen. After each molt, the baby bed bug grows progressively larger in size, less translucent, and goes from yellowish white to tan, and finally to reddish brown. A common pest that gets mixed up a lot with baby bed bugs is book lice. Book lice are also yellowish white or tan with translucent bodies, and they can be around the same size as a bed bug nymph. However, book lice have longer, narrower bodies, and their antennae are also longer and more thread like. They also have a narrow thorax separating the head and abdomen, whereas bedbug nymphs have a wide thorax with a flared pronotum. One easy way to tell them apart is to see if it has a dark colored mass of digested blood near the back of its abdomen. If it does, then it's definitely a bedbug nymph and not a book louse. Once you've identified a baby bedbug, it's a good idea to get your home inspected by a certified bedbug detection canine to find out where they're hiding and if there are more eggs about to hatch. If you're still not sure if what you've found is a baby bed bug, send a picture or video to MMPC's Free Pest Identification Center, and one of our bed bug experts will identify it for you. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for other videos about keeping your home free from bed bugs and other pests.